Game Crew. Hello world, what is up? I am the Game Crew and welcome back to another episode of the Soma Let's Play. In this Let's Play, we found out that Omicron wasn't where we needed to go. We actually do need to go down into the abyss here. And we're gonna take this little shortcut, you know, the rickety staircase shortcut. And we're gonna get into Omicron, we're gonna get a power suit, we're gonna then find the climber thing and we're gonna... This had better be the right way. This better be it. Alright. That's a long way down. Long way down. Ah! Bye bye forever. Oh man, I'm a, this, is, this is like my stress level? Is that what it is? As I get stressed, my vision goes. Which way? You know, let's go this way. Because why not? You know, the other way it seemed too obvious. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this isn't horrifying at all. Woo! I mean, it's not even like regular heights where you can actually see the bottom. This is like there is no bottom. And, you know, if you fall in water, you would just fall at, like, this really breakneck slow speed. Oh, no. All right. Let's get into Omicron. Here we go. Thank you. Good old door unlocking tool. Flushing. Ah, finally. Sick of that shader. All right, let's go. Let's go. I wanna get stuff done. Don't crash. Let's find that suit and get out. Agreed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is exactly what we're looking for. This is this is what you want to see when you open any door. Bunch of headless people. And. Gushing things, man. There are things moving in the shadows of the flashlight. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but there's like this fog in the shadows. Woo! Alright. Who you be? I guess I can't figure you out because you ain't got no head. Can't data mine someone when their black box has been physically removed from their body. That's no good. Is this the power suit? No, that's just a dive suit. That's another me. Get off of there. Nothing. Okay, cool. Alright. We got some places to go. You know, one day I want there to be something inside a locker. Although I, I haven't checked every locker, so I've probably missed it the one time that there's something. Alright. Omicron. Stairs. Robot repair bay, dispatch, containment, dive room. Alright, there's something definitely in here with us. Something that probably eats heads. It's a head eater. Hydroponics. Yeah, boy. Let's go in there. Containment. Oh, hello. I'm trying to stop it. Who are you? Who are you? Okay, so we have a good guy and a bad guy. We're learning. We're learning a little bit about this. All right, we gotta go to medical bay where we can learn more about the wow. Let's get this flashlight on. Any more headless people in the medical bay? Any info about why people are headless? No water, ding. All right. Radio hazard in the north hall. Anything in here? Nope. All right, nothing in the medical hall. There's never anything in the medical hall. What's this? I don't know, let's click it. Hmm. Uh-oh. That's not good. There's scratches on the wall. Scratches on the lights. That's not suspicious at all. 
Let's find out some information. Power suit was tested and ready. Jasper confirms. Omicron scans are in the arc. Yep. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Climber calibrated for weight. Crane operator ready. Omicron standing by pickup for pickup at two days. So what what happened? What eventually happened? Here's more. This is that HP thing again. Again, do not fix it yourself. Oh, here's the dive team. Look at them in their power suits. Okay. Nope. 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 Okay. Nothing there. Alright. I guess uh, we gotta get Catherine to open the door. I just do not want anything popping out. We gotta know the exits. We have a remote control door here and this airlock. Awesome. Everything is so, so basic. basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Omnitool falling apart. Is it that the WoW okay, hasn't made it here yet? Power suit. No, we you know, definitely so we saw that. So we go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda? Uh -huh. you think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Yes. Okay, so we do it again. Do you Why? want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be oh. done. You don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. It's a There's huge deal. There's something else that can take us down I'm like there. a parasitic so that AI. The only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, yeah. please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If oh, not, man. Well, well of course we're going to find something Thank else. You, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Alright. If there are any left. Powering up. Let me guess. D is a power suit. Looks like it. Activate terminal. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this advanced tech. Nothing. Okay, can I just open this door? Oh, that would be that easy. Poke it. All right. Yep. Oh. Oh God. Well, Raleigh. I found one of the power um, suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Yeah. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. Oh, I, I, I did that. Did it out of order. Oh, it's booting. Awesome. Loading. Do, 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 do. Come on, we ain't got all day. Windows. Come out to power suit. Guaranteed to withstand temperatures to negative 75 degrees Celsius. Oh man, it's pretty warm in there. Automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain normal atmosphere depth. The onboard controller monitor. Easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings. Yeah, that looked all easily assemblable. Note that this, unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Oh, that does not sound good. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. It uses information. Oh, please tell me it doesn't connect that to the wow. Alright, back. Pod D. Boot up the suit, please. Not exactly great A material. Don't Attention worry, required. Just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pipes of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a True. good colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. Oh, yes, please right. don't put it that way. <laughs> what about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The wow won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I don't, I don't think that's how it works. This plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon, I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. Okay, well, so we'll just switch chip, dead structure gel body. And a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. Remote I'll just control. Hang here, if that's 
I'll be back. Oh, look, a pilot suit. Just so happens to be lucky that there's a pilot suit. Exactly where I need to... Oh, thank you, door, for opening at just the right time in the story. Awesome. We need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the Cortex suit chip, structure gel, and a power pack. Got it. I'll just take our time. I'm not doing something off camera. Ignore the weird walking. All right, we're back. <laughs> Sorry, my timer computer kept turning off. I had to make sure the screen didn't shut down again. All right, whoa. What's going on here? Hello? We're back in this room. There was nothing else in that room? Yeah, that was just a dead end medical lab. Oh, it was down here. Dive room. You'd think this is where the power suits would be, but... North Hall. Wasn't that the area under... Nope, that's the, not the lockdown. So, where's this go? Can I get... Is this to the crane, maybe? No. They wouldn't have the crane area in the lab. Alright. Oh, yeah, I thought that was uh, under radiation. Storage. We're looking for a Cortex chip and other stuff. Alright. Um, nope, nope, come on guys, open, open sesame, abracadabra, flim flam, fluey lamb, nope, nothing in storage, because that would be too easy, alright, let's get back over here, where would a cortex be, oh, here we go, error removing lockdown, stand by for diagnosis. Finding fault location. System overload in the power room. Alright. Okay. Is this one of these clicky games? Stop the wow. I'm getting it. I, get, I got it. You, you don't need the subliminal messaging. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. Bingo. Removing lockdown. Okay, the clean room is open. Let's get a map of this area quickly. Get I'm um, get the virus. That's new. Why didn't you tell me about that before? This is the deep dive in private room. That's where we were. The infirmary is where we came from. We're in the containment. We've got the biotech, the biological hydroponics. Lower. I guess these two areas are important. Anything in the upper? All right, we might have to revisit this a couple times. Okay, Ruffy. An unusual sedated orange Ruffy found hovering outside. It had unusual bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. During the post- oh, something came in. Derby and Wallach identified what is sabotaging the Lumar probe. It's a 100 centimeter long rudderfish. So at first it merged with fish. And then it merged. Or maybe this is something different. Oh no. There's something down there. Something down there that the WoW does not want us to get. There's something that it doesn't want us to get to the WoW. Who knows? Can I get a... Is this just a... Oh, it's a pickup thing. Sorry. Sorry, wasting time. Computer, nothing. Hydroponics room. Anything of use. Just a bunch of dead plant stuff. Algae. All right, red herring room. Okay. This is where we came. This is the stairwell. This is not looking boding well for us. Um Anywhere else we can go. We can go over to this area here, the clean room. Now that it's open. All right. Let's do this. Spray me. Bring it on. Yeah. Alright. Can, 
we hurry this up, please? I got important business to attend to. All right. Is this the Ruffy? Can't. That's not a Pokemon. We need status gel uncalibrated open. All right. Ah. Control chip failure. Require Calid. The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If it applied to circuit, it seems to help out with connectivity. Let me guess. Structural gel isn't something they made. It's something they found. But even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. I'm trying to stop the WoW! I'm trying! I need to read to do it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad coat, so the WoW has taken over the structure gel. Applied gel to a dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive, but it was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. Alright, that doesn't look good. Stop reanimating mice with the gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets were used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided the ability to somewhat control it. The structural gel. This is almost like a year ago. It remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's the same cross-linked gel with aligned graphene in a polyunsaturated matrix. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, of course. That was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WoW. The gel has not taken on any new property. This WoW simply uses it in ways we would never have dreamed of. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, this is a study results. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers were manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by cancerous growth that affects their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly at... I'm trying to stop it. I need to learn about it. It all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. So the WoW definitely went rogue. Went... Oh, hello, mouse. That's not... Hello? Hello? Who's there? All right. Let's see if we can quickly find something useful. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. We need to fix this. All right. Control. Pick up the control chip, and we're going to need to find an interface for the control chip. And we're going to find that next time. We're out of time for this episode, so it's looking good. All right. We will head into the biosafety cabinet and figure out the control chip controls to get our structural gel out of this tube here. Sounds good. What's this? Nothing, never seen something of that speed. Damn, that's fast. All right. Ciao, guys.